Hey Pilates teachers, you remember Greg from the workshop on motor learning and now we're just going to talk to you a little bit about different neurological disorders and diseases that you may see folks coming into the studio with. Yeah, um, so I work at the Neuro Rehabilitation Lab at Columbia University. Um, I work with Dr. Lori Quinn, who's a physical therapist and a movement scientist, and we really work on um, exercise and physical therapy, physical activity interventions for people with neurological disorders. Um, so we work with people with Huntington's disease, um, which is a genetic disorder um, that causes a triad of symptoms, um, motor symptoms like uh, chorea or a lot of involuntary movement, um, behavioral symptoms like loss of impulsivity and they lose a lot of cognitive function or executive um, functioning um, and become more and more um, impaired as the disease goes on. Um, we also work with a lot of people with Parkinson's disease, um, which Parkinson's is caused by a decrease in the amount of dopaminergic neurons in the brain. Um, and we really look at the benefits of exercise um, as a way to um, reduce the need for pharmacological interventions. Um, I'm not saying that I don't want these people to be on their drug treatment. I do want them to be on their drug treatment, but maybe exercise is a way that we can reduce the need for that. Um, and also trying to optimize um, function in people who've suffered from a stroke. And people who've suffered from a stroke is different because a stroke is a one-time event. Um, but they're oftentimes left with a lot of weakness on one side of their body um, so that this weakness causes a lot of um, asymmetry in movement. Um, so what Linda and I kind of talked about today, um, what we're or in the workshop is a lot of these um, neuro rehabilitation principles or neurological rehab principles um, that you can apply to different diseases um, and also the way to kind of cater everything to the disease specific um, impairments that each one of them have. Um, and then if you want more information on that, you can join us over um, in the VIP group in the workshop. Indeed. Um, there's a lot of good information in there. We went through Huntington's, yep. Parkinson's, post-stroke, MS, Dementia, yep. we talked a little bit about ALS, yep. we talked a little bit about dystonia, and we talked a little bit about essential tremor. Yep. Yep. Again, we are not here to give you like the specific exercises that are going to be fabulous because you guys know the exercises. Okay, What we're talking about is that kind of meta attitude and knowledge that you need to come into the session with so that you can basically structure it in a way to help those clients feel and function better. Remember my concept, my, my purpose in life is to just help people feel and function better. I yeah. really feel like um, even what I'm doing with these workshops for teachers is helping teachers feel and function better within the Pilates yeah. studio to then have that outward effect on all of our clients. Yeah, and that's really what led me to the motor learning program at Columbia was that I wanted to help teachers teach better, right? And teach yeah. their clients better. And that's yeah. really where my work comes in is how do we teach movement better and how do we get people to learn to move better long term and greg is so brilliant and i am like so honored <laughs> that he like loves me as his pilates teacher because you like know so much yeah and sometimes i feel like you know so much more than i do um we've got different skill sets <laughs> we've got different skill sets in that work yes. so again full workshops over in the vip group on first on motor learning principles with examples of Greg teaching me in the studio. You've seen the short version of it here and now moving into neurological disorders. So uh, thanks for being here. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.